So what does all of this mean in practical terms for our meditation practice? So when you're practicing your formal meditation in walking, in sitting, you have your meditation object, the thing you're focusing or mainly collecting the mind on, the home base of your attention. So in sitting, it's the, it's the breathing process, the sensation of breathing, the rising, the falling. In walking, it's the stepping and the sensation of walking. And something draws you away. So either it might be some thinking in the background that starts to become more interesting, or you completely forget about the meditation object and you are lost in the thought, One, your mind is wandering thinking about something for maybe a few seconds, maybe um, up to a minute, maybe even a few minutes. So that's completely normal. Um, and this distraction is rooted in some kind of um, craving. So it's, it's rooted in some kind of desire because that thought is either something that creates pleasant sensation or it creates unpleasant sensation. And what we're trying to do here is to recognize and release these distractions earlier and earlier and to notice them. Sometimes you might only notice it after a long time if you forget and you recognize, oh, thinking or planning or worrying. Sometimes you immediately notice it and that might even release and the thought disappears very quickly. There's a, there's a key step here also to relax any remaining tension. Usually it's in the head because this tension in the head is what is really the root of this distraction which keeps coming to your meditation. Maybe it's thinking about what you have to do later today. Maybe it's, a, it's imagining something about the future. Maybe it's a memory of the past. Maybe it's amazing plans that you can't wait to do. Maybe it's uh, a rudeness about who you are or what you should do or your life. So all these things, maybe it's a doubt. And there's always this, this tension, this tensing to either get something, to become something, or tensing to get rid of something, tensing to try to not become something. And so it's very important to recognize, to label it, to release it, and then to relax a little bit the body-mind and then to lightly smile smile in your mind smile in your face smile in your eyes smile in your heart and to return lightly to the meditation object and every time you're releasing this reaction to the pleasant or unpleasant thought or sensation um, you are releasing this tendency or this habitual tendency of the mind to hold on to what's pleasant and to push away what's unpleasant and over time this starts to release these distractions more permanently it starts to rewire the brain to not follow these things and what we're learning also in meditation is that's always our thought that we tend to react to it's not the actual situation it's usually what we think about so if I paint a very depressed picture of my life, I think about how bad things are, there's very unpleasant sensation associated with that. And I'm reacting to that sensation, to that unpleasantness of the thought, rather than how my life actually is. Because the next day it might change. The next day I might have a very positive outlook on my life again and things are happy and there's pleasant sensation associated with it. And then of course the mind is also trying to hold. So we really practice into let, let it be however it is, to relax, to smile, to come back, to keep coming back to the object of meditation.